Hello, scholars. Go ahead and put your name and advisory at the top of your test. And then we will begin the eighth grade social studies unit two assessment, read aloud. Multiple choice, circle the correct answer. One, this philosophy was based on the idea that peoples of African descent have common interests and should be unified. A, pseudo-Africanism. B, pan-Africanism. C, Du Boisism. D, Garveyism. Number two, the university where W.E.B. Du Bois was the first African-American to earn a doctorate. A, Harvard. B, Atlanta University. C, Vanderbilt. D, Yale. Number three, author Ellen Locke urged blank to seek spiritual emancipation and to create and celebrate their own culture. A, novelist. B, Asian Americans. C, Southerners. D, African Americans. Number four, which New York neighborhood was the home of a black culture renaissance in the early 1900s? A, Harlem. B, the Bronx. C, Manhattan. D, Brooklyn. Number five, a music style slash form made popular by black musicians like Louis Armstrong. A, blues. B, jazz. C, drill. D, country. Number six, which word meaning right now or contemporary was used to describe the time period between 1890 and 1930? A, past. B, present. C, future. D, modern. Number seven, jobs at blank were especially difficult on the old, but helped produce goods quickly. A, factories. B, restaurants. C, universities. D, farms. Number eight, during the early 1900s, many Americans moved from blank to blank. A, Nashville to New Orleans. B, country to city. C, city to country. D, Chicago to the South. Number nine, according to President Warren Harding, farmers were at the base of the pyramid of civilization. What is another word for this structure that shows how society is organized? A, democracy. B, system. C, hierarchy. D, socialism. Matching. Write the letter of the correct definition next to each word. And the first column, producers, advertising, citizen, nonconformist, credit, consumer, and the second column, A, person who refuses to fit in, B, monetary loan, often given by banks or companies, C, a person that purchases goods or services. D, a new method developed during the 1920s used to convince consumers to purchase goods. E, a group which saw tremendous profits in the 1920s. F, 
Consumerism is bringing it about that the American's first importance is to his country, to his country is no longer that of blank, but of consumer. Short answer. Answer each question in one to two sentences. Number one, in Sinclair Lewis's novel, Main Street, one of the characters described a group of people as stuck in the mud. What group was she describing and why, and what did she mean by this quote? Number two, before the modern age, children were expected to become adults near the age of 13. After the modern age, Americans identify teenager as a group between childhood and adult. What caused this change? Number three, why did an editor for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution newspaper call the 1920s the golden age? Long answer. Answer the following prompt with a short paragraph with a minimum of four to five sentences. Your answer should include a claim, one piece of evidence from the source below, and analysis. Source, Frederick Lewis Allen, Only Yesterday, An Informal History of the 1920s, 1931. Under the influence of easy riches, or at least of easy Fords and Chevrolets, individualistic capitalism had settled itself securely in the saddle. Of any real problems, either national or international, the American people as a whole refused to bother themselves. How did American society change during the modern age?